not all of these energy gels are vegan have milk powder in it i have no idea why hi everyone my name is lenka and in this video i want to show you three energy gels and compare their price nutrients taste and benefits for your performance Energy gels help you to restore carbohydrates during high-intensity endurance events. Our bodies run on glucose, which are simple sugars that are absorbed into the bloodstream and then used as a fuel. My favorite source of energy supplements are energy gels. They are very easy to carry and I've tried three brands and obviously I have my favorite one. Let's start from the most affordable one. That is Aptonia. You can find in Decathlon. I think Decathlon is in almost every country, but you need to check the ingredient list. Not all of these energy gels are vegan. I think matcha and coffee flavor have milk powder in it. I have no idea why, but it is what it is. This one is in mixed berry flavor. As a quick fix energy, of course, everything's great than nothing, but I didn't really enjoy this gel. This gel, as you can see, it's very thick. It's gel, but you need to chuck it down with so much of water that you eventually feel very heavy because you need to drink a lot and it makes your stomach un uncomfortable. So if I have to choose between this and anything else, I would try anything else. I was surprised by the mixed information about Aptonia energy gels. I found one page that says Aptonia gels are not even vegetarian and that they contain traces of milk and fish. On others, there is no allergy warnings. I was confused, so I contacted UK Decathlon's Facebook page where they replied this. I think it would be suitable for vegans as for its compositions seems like vegan products, but still you can confirm it with checking with your nearest stores. That didn't really answer my question. I have two explanations for this problem. The first one is that Aptonia products are made in facilities which are processing dairy and fish products and that's why they have to state may contain. That would be the better option since animal parts are not directly inside of the product. Another possibility is that some nutrients such as B12 could be derived from an animal source. That would make this product not suitable for vegans and vegetarians as it's directly in the product. This is just a little research I did for you to consider whether you are willing to try this energy gel anyway or not. I will definitely stop buying it unless they verify that it is vegan friendly. Energy gel number two is from My Protein. This energy gel was very enjoyable to eat, it's much thinner and much easier to swallow. You don't need as much water with it. This one energy gel is in orange flavor. It was good. I just know that this one and the one from the Decathlon are very sweet. This packet has 25 grams of glucose. So again, it would be sufficient to get your energy up, up to one hour. Third and last brand of energy gels is SIS. I've tried this brand first time actually this year in August when I was running Spartan Race Trifecta and so far these are my most favorite. They are super thin, they go down super easily, they even taste good. They come in four flavors and that is berry, citrus, double espresso and cola. Surprisingly cola is my most favorite one, I don't know, it's not it's not overly sweet, it's very satisfying to eat, even this, is, this wouldn't be satisfying to eat right now, but during the race it tastes really good without switching to any protein bar or nuts. I was purely running on these and 
I felt very good. I didn't have any digestion issue, my stomach was well, no pain. These gels, apart from the My Protein and Decathlon one, they also contain caffeine. If you are sensitive to caffeine, make sure you choose the one which doesn't have caffeine because these are pretty strong. Actually, the the flavors I enjoyed less are the citrus and berry. I really don't remember, I just know it was one of the colorful ones and the cola and double espresso were just amazing. It gave me that rush you need just before the obstacle or just before the 15 kilometer when you cannot anymore and it will just push you to go and give you that energy you need so i highly recommend this brand it's vegan friendly it has caffeine in it so be careful if you don't like it or if you cannot deal with the caffeine in this table you can see all three energy gels Aptonia ranks as the cheapest per gel, but considering the weight of one gel, there is not much difference. SIS is twice as big, so its price is justifiable. There is a good range of flavors in all three brands, but the flavors that I like are from Science in Sport because they are very tasty. As for sweetness, since the Aptonia gel is very, very thick, it's much sweeter. Energy gels are basically concentrated energy drinks. Again, it all depends on your preferences. Texture of SIS gels is very thin and in room temperature you don't even feel that you are eating something. SIS contains the highest doses of caffeine. Aptonia has only natural caffeine, which I am not sure what that is exactly, and my protein contains no caffeine. For electrolytes and overall micronutrients in these energy gels, there are usually B vitamins in all of them and sodium. My protein also contains an electrolyte blend, but when you look at the ingredient label, the amount is insignificant. My protein and SIS state that they are vegan friendly on their website. For Aptonia, it's not clear at all. There is no allergen warning on the box I purchased, so that seemed okay. But if you are concerned about their products in your country, definitely check the label and ask the staff. As for any other supplement, I recommend to try these energy gels before any important event during training. For example, I used SIS Cola Flavor Energy Gel during my first official half marathon, which you can watch right here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and I will see you next time. Bye!